Welcome to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is one of those videos that remember I don't always like to do but this is another official unboxing video. A few of you have written in saying Jack we like your unboxing videos so I thought I'll go ahead and do another one. So what are we unboxing today? What did I receive from FedEx? Seems to be from Adobe Systems Incorporated. Hmm. Adobe Systems Incorporated. And what did I talk about on my show they recently came out with? Yeah, you are correct. Photoshop Elements 10. So, it's here. This is my free upgrade. Now, there was some controversy on my Facebook page. If you are on Facebook, uh, you can follow our group at Jack's Tech Corners, our Facebook group. There was some controversy on there about should I download the video or should I download the software onto my computer and what happens with that software if my computer should crash well let me make it really easy and really clear if I had my choice I always download the software matter of fact if you watched my show previous to this one you'll see I introduced Photoshop Elements 10 and it was the travel version so I downloaded that from Adobe and I downloaded the trial version now the only thing difference with the trial version between that and the registered version is you're right the key code so all you have to do when you buy it um, is you would take the CD if you get the CD in the mail and you would take the key code and just type it in you have the full registered version now why am I telling you this because I recommend don't spend the extra money for the CD in the case Adobe once you create an account with Adobe they keep your software on there in a vault forever they know you purchased it you just go back whenever you may need it and just re-download it now this is a little bit of a hefty download so if you have a slow internet connection maybe you want to buy the box and you may be asking Jack well if you're saying that why do you have the box I have the box because this is a free upgrade uh, we purchased we had to purchase recently a new copy of Photoshop Elements 9 and it was within the time limit. It was only actually like three or four weeks ago. And it was within the time limits when this was released to go ahead and get the new version. So that's what happened. So if I had my preference, like I said, go ahead and download it and uh, buy it that way. Save yourself some money. And you can have it right after I introduce you to uh, what's in this box and tell you that it is worth having. Let me find my knife here. The knife. Get open it. Without cutting myself. <laughs> That's always a good thing, right? Jack, you shouldn't cut yourself. Yeah, I'll tell you, I just gotta get the mouse out of the way there a little bit. Let's go ahead and open it up here, and we'll see what we have in here. First of all, is the packing slip. Just get this microphone back around here a little bit. So first of all is the packing slip right here. It just tells me what's in there. The uh, Photoshop Elements 10 fulfillment, so it's fulfilled. They gave me a free upgrade. Then they put a shipping envelope inside the box. So there you have that. Let's get rid of that. Open up the shipping envelope. They package things well. At least uh, Adobe does that for us, right? It's packaged well. Then we come up right here with the Adobe Photoshop Elements 10 case. Now it's a little bit different than 9, and I don't know where my 9 case is right now, or I would show that to you. Um, so it's a little bit different. So um, I'm not going to show you the back of it. Unfortunately, my serial number is on the back, and I don't want to share that with everybody. Uh, even though you're saying, Jack, why wouldn't you share your serial number? Because when you buy this, you can only load it on two computers, and that serial number that's kind of very secretive to you because once you register your computer then that's one computer down so if I gave it to everybody and two of you out there register this before I do I don't get any that's kinda of how that works so we don't need the knife to open that inside uh, this version for some reason here we have three discs instead of two if you remember the last version elements 9 we had two discs and that is because we had the um, Mac software and the Windows software. So I'm just trying to read this. Sorry, I'm not looking up at you here. Um, it says to install for Windows, start with disk number one. 
there's disk number one. To install Mac OS, start with disk number three. And so apparently, if you're installing this on a Mac, all you need is the third disk. If you're installing on Windows, you need one, two, and three. Install all those to get it on your Windows computers. So that is the entire package, folks. I mean, there's not anything uh, fabulous about this. This is Photoshop Elements 10. Um, and looking back, I thought I would look back because I thought I told you that Adobe has a nine-month turnaround. I Fortunately, if you go back on my YouTube channel and look at my, just type in unboxing under the search for my YouTube channel, you will find that I did an unboxing of Photoshop Elements 9 on October 25th, 2010, 2010. Today, unboxing Photoshop Elements 10, it's October 5th, 2011, or 2011. So that's how I know that it's been pretty much a year until they did the full refresh of Adobe Elements. So you can look for an upgrade every year. And, you know, we buy it mid-year sometimes, I know, but I teach this. So I always keep up with the most current versions because, sure enough, people are going to send me questions about uh, something that's new in this version. And if I don't have it, I can't answer them. So that's why I keep up with the newest stuff out there. Okay, folks, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little slight uh, tidbit of information here, the unboxing of Adobe Photoshop Elements 10. Um, I do have it loaded, so I got to do is put my serial number in, and then I'll have a fully registered copy on my iMac here. And then on my um, MacBook Pro, I'll put another license on there. Remember, you're allowed to install this on two computers and absolutely be within the licensing guidelines. That is definite, two computers. So, and some people say, Jack, can I install it on two Windows computers and two Macs? No. Two computers per license code. You can do one Mac and one Windows, two Windows, or two Macs. So that's how their licensing code works. Um, and once again, if you recently bought Photoshop Elements 9, hey, get a hold of them, get the free upgrade. Even if you don't want to load it, if you say, well, Jack, I'm just learning 9, get it. It's free. How can you pass up free? You paid for it. Take the free upgrade. Put it in a drawer somewhere in a cupboard and just hold on to it if you don't want to load it right now. Of course, I wouldn't see why you would do that because it's definitely better. Uh, it's slightly faster. And there is, um, if you watch my last uh, YouTube video right before this, when I did my live show on Sunday, I showed you a couple of new features in there. And I'm still playing around with it looking for even more as well as I know a lot of you are that watch this show regularly. So, Okay, folks. Well, thank you so much for tuning in again for this uh, episode of Jack's Tech Corner, the official unboxing of Photoshop Elements 10. And I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Until then, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for